back underway with Blair Alston finding the little pass and it's quite full of Sanders. Now there's a great touch. Here's Robinson inside the box. Driving it in is blocked by Mark Cornley. Uh, when you consider that the two of them scored last season in the League Cup against Kelly here at Rugby Park. It's another deep corner. It's a good ball in. There's a chance oh, for Robinson. Appeals for a handball. And there's a That's a penalty. Chance. There's a penalty this time. I'm not too sure on the second one, maybe the first one was... Well, so I think Jack might have slipped, actually. I thought that's an interesting one. It was Dorans who made the challenge, and uh, the referee is telling Dorans that he's not changing his mind. It's a penalty So for I think they, they appealed for the first one for handball, and then it's dropped to Jack, and I don't know if he's actually slipped. Isn't it? So he wins the header here, and it's sort of a pill for handball, and I don't think that's handball. Yeah, he slips. It's slips. not... Yeah, it's... Yeah. No. So... Penalty to Kelly. Ollie Shaw, he's already scored one penalty this season. Here's the fast start we're asking for. Up against Owen Fawn Williams. Shaw sends it in Good low. Penalty. And Kumana cut in front with less than three minutes played. Ollie Shaw on the score sheet for the ninth time this season. Yeah, I've seen him. They come from that shot, obviously, he won the flick on, he's, we've had that shot from, from Scott, and then we've got two corners, and that's what you want to do, you want to test him early on, and so we've, we've, caused the, we've caused the error from their team, we've got a penalty, and then he's tucked it away, so it's a, it's a great start from Oli. The family will feel aggrieved, particularly for the one the penalty that was given. Yeah, I think we've just seen it back then, and I, I think Jack slipped, I don't think. But think from the angle where the referee's from, I think his line has got to help him out, because I don't think from... From where the referee might see it, it might be a penalty, but from where, where the referee, where the linesman is, he's got a clear view. He's done firmly looking for a quick reply up the other end. But, uh, Jack Sanders does well initially. A little touch inside. Here's Ryan Dow. Chipping it in, but right behind it is Zach Hemming. It's with Edwards to Dow. Robinson gets it away. There's the challenge for Breen. He's a bit isolated up there at the moment. Ollie needs to get probably Scott closer towards him. Whiten. Dow tries a shot. It breaks back to McCann. He fired Support that one. Him. Took a deflection off Jack Sanders. Then firmly get their first corner of the match. Yeah, we seem to have just dropped back an extra little five yards and say that ball up to Ollie. He was the first two he's flicked on and then we managed to get people in behind, but saying that one that's just come forward, he's up there and only sort of fighting fighting away and then they've managed to sort of get the ball back and then they've got themselves a corner. Sanders is up there, so is McGowan. Seemed in that direction. Sanders knocks it across. Fraser Murray back to Brandon Hoyt. There's a good Ollie ball again. in and a nice glancing header just wide of the target. He started the game well, I said he's from that from that when he won that put that confidence of winning them first two early flick ons, he's he's got the goal from the penalty. You can see he's he's brimming the confident moments in that so yeah, hopefully that second goal comes for him. He's got in front of his man really well. It's a great ball from Brandon and you can see he's he's pulled away and then come in front and so he's done all he's can with that flick from there. Done fell in through Graham Dorrance. Through towards McCann on to doubt. Good, Good tackle. Sliding challenge by Sanders. Oh, Dows up quickly. McCann misses his kick. Craig Whiten with it. Strikes it. And it's pulled on Fernland level. In the 20th minute. Jack's a bit unfortunate there. He's, he's gone for the tackle and it's ricocheted back to the lad and say he's cut it back and say it's, fair, it's not a good finish from the player. So Craig Whiten on the score sheet there for uh, Dunfermline. Around the corner. Yeah, so he goes for the tackle and it sort of ricochets back to him and it's, so yeah, the lads missed it. And so yeah, to be fair, it's a good finish. Craig Whiten scoring for the fourth time this season. So corner kick to Dunfermline from the left hand side. Swung in, a glancing header at the near post and into the side netting. Yeah, see, it's There's a chance for Lewis McCann there. It's good delivery, and he just got in front of our sort of man you sort of have in the hole. And Not a bad effort. Yeah, it's tough to score from there, you see. 
So he's done well to get in front of him, but that's always going to be a tough header to score from there. He's done well. Here's Whiten from McCann. Now to Dow, they have two men over. Dow for Whiten. Good defender. Dow again, trying to curl her for the back post. And it's just gone wide of the target there, but uh, Ryan Dow and Craig Whiten causing one or two problems there. And Craig Whiten actually had a, a shooting opportunity if he didn't check back. Yeah, he sort of, I think he was sort of faking to shoot with his right foot and tried to drag it to the left, and Dillon's read that well. and intercepted it, but saying that a lot of their threats is come down our sort of down our right hand side their left and I think they've sort of recognised that Burke is not your typical sort of defender so they're trying to isolate that. They break it up. Ewan Murray trying to curl that one forward for Ollie Shaw. So 1v1. Mark Corley's Ollie. lost out, it's Ollie Shaw with a chance. Oh. He gets a second chance and it's turned away by Graham Dorrance. I think he probably had more, was ever a touch and took it a bit more inside because say he was all alone and Defender wasn't ever going to catch him back up again after making the mistake. And so he's looking at it now, he's tried to play it. Yeah, maybe the keeper's coming out to him, so he probably had to. Yeah, maybe one more touch and he might have made the angle a little bit better for himself. Mark Cornley. And then on to Breen. This is Edwards. Whiten linking with McCann. Shooting opportunity took a deflection, and Zach Hemming had to be alert to that one. Yeah, they've the seen. Post. I think there are times that they've had the opportunities have been when they've had that sort of bit of bit of play, and they can you can see they're not too bad on the ball. And if you give them sort of time, they they find their sort of movements and they find the players in midfield, and so we probably just step up a bit more and put a bit more pressure on them. Comrie, Comrie again in the overlap. Done well, he has Dow in the middle. It's Ryan Dow trying a little flick. And Zach Hemming making a good save. Yeah, it's a good save. You see, he's, he's probably ran past it and then used the, the imaginative and tried a little flick around the corner. And then so, so Zach, Zach pulled off a good save there. You get to know players throughout the years, don't you? Yeah, you, it is. Have you played with Mark as well? Yeah, back at the same many years ago, I'm, I was at Bolton with Mark and say he's one of them players. He's he's clever and he switched on. He knows what he knew exactly what he was doing. And he's felt a little bit of contact and gone down and won himself a free kick. Aaron Comrie looking for McCann. Good first touch. He's going in again. Looks like Hemming had to react. Yeah, it's a good ball forward and he's. So I think he's tried to. I don't know if he's tried to bring it down or try and flick it over his head, but it says. So when you won't be one in the box, it's anything can sort of happen there. Towards Hodstrom. Looking for Robinson, but it's cut out. And away comes Allen to Ryan Dow. Threading it through to Todd. McCann's in the middle. Todd trying the shot. That comes both safe. Zach like Heming gets down to stop that one. Yeah, I think it's one of them sort of cross shots and it's a comfortable save for Zach to make there. Well, done fairly well, they come down here, but uh, they've won only two of the last 13 league meetings with Kilmarnock. Edwards fires it forward, straight through to Zach.
interception coming from Hornstrup, but now here's Todd trying to get away from you and Murray. He's done well. His Matt Todd Ooh. Kelly just eventually get it away there. Got the ricochets about. Good tracking back from Callum. Yeah, Callum Henry does well. Oh yeah, I think it's. Oh, it doesn't look nice. It's never probably it note. Mark Cornley. Yeah, I think it's. On his left knee. It's on his left knee, yeah. I think the referee's going to have to have a word because I think he's. Yeah, I think oh, he's, he's having a word. He's obviously there. having a concern about. Yeah, I've been involved with games. They're saying that if the linesman can't see across the line, that causes the problem because if you can't get off off, off high decisions, you've got a real issue. Yes. Yeah, I think he's gone to have a word. I think that's what he'll be touching on. Yeah, and the far side, he must be having a word with the two managers on that far touch line. Yeah. Um, I see you don't want games to get called off, but if, say, if the lads can't, if the, the fourth. Uh, but you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You. Uh, we can just about make out the referee. I have no idea who he's side. talking to. <laughs> uh, I think it's uh, John. That's, I think that's the problem we've got because like, if, if, we're, if we're here now and we can't see from yeah. the front of the pitch, how's the lines we're supposed to see exactly who who's going to be running from it's offside? One, it's one of those ones. Do you do you give it ten minutes? See if it subsides. Yeah. But I think if you send the lads in for ten minutes, yeah, the, the, yeah. One or two of the fans yeah. <laughs> putting their torches on in their <laughs> phones. <laughs> but it's, I don't it's, think it's crazy help. how it's changed because, say, the start of the game, it was, yeah, it was bright blue skies. It was, it was a lovely winter's day, and yeah. now we look at it now, it's completely different. Yeah. I say, look, the referee's got a yellow jersey on, we can make him out, but I think he's going to have a word with the captains here. I don't know. I don't know if he's having, having a chat with. Yeah, he's in the centre of the field now, the referee. Is he calling him off? I think he's. The boys are. Trying to see exactly what he's doing. Mark Cornley's want to come back. Yeah, I think the there. lads are walking off. The yeah. Look, here's an announcement. Yeah, I think that's what you said. You're going to have 10 minutes of so see what happens. Five, 10 minutes suspension of the game in the hope that the fog will uh, lift. I think that was inevitable. Uh, it was the refs giving the best chance he got, but say, how long do you leave it? You don't want to. Yeah, the fans yeah. are coming away unhappy, but. I think, it, I think when they get home, they realise that it probably wasn't the best decision made. But so you can't, the weather's the weather, you can't, something you can't control. Well, the uh, fans are making their way to the exits as the players exchange handshakes. Yeah, yeah, I think so it's that, yeah. You hear the announcement in the background that the game has been abandoned and uh, no doubt it will be rearranged for a future date.